Hey, what's up guys? So for today, I'm going to show you how to create those awesome and cool transitions using Saber plugin for After Effects. Before we begin, make sure you have downloaded the plugin from the Video Copilot website. It's actually free and specifically made for After Effects. So once you have downloaded the plugin, we're just going to jump right into After Effects. Alright, so we're now in After Effects. But before we begin, let me show you what we are trying to create. As you can see here on the headset clip, I added a saber effect on the microphone and on the logo area. Plus, I added a mask in order to reveal the next clip. So in order to create the effect, we need to create a new composition. Uh, let's just name it uh, Saber Headset. There we go. Add the clips that you'll be using. Okay. So the top three clips here are for the headset and the bottom clip that I have is uh, the Counter-Strike clip that will be revealed at once we apply the effects. So scrub through your timeline and locate the position where you want the effect to begin. So this should be the spot. I'm going to delete this marker, hit Control shift d on the keyboard, delete the excess part. And for this uh, layer, extend it one frame forward. Control shift d on your keyboard to delete it or cut it and then Control d in order to make a duplicate so this duplicated layer right click hit time freeze frame so now we have a freeze frame so for this one let's hide it for now now for this freeze frame uh, we wanna extend it for about two seconds so, uh, Probably right around here. And then we want to duplicate this layer. So let's start adding a mask. So be sure to take your time uh, when creating this mask so that it will look nice when we apply the effect later. Okay, so that's for mask one. Uh, just click M on your keyboard, hit the mask path in order to save the, the path that you created. Now we need to create a second mask and this time for the microphone. Okay, for mask two, just set it to uh, none. And the mask one, you can set it to subtract. So this is where we will reveal the, the bottom layer. All right, so if we hide this uh, duplicate layer, okay, it is now revealing the Counter-Strike layer. So let's uh, enable this back. Okay, for this clip, we will now be adding the uh, Saber effect. So let's just go to layer, new, solid and name it Saber Headset. Okay. Press Control shift d on your keyboard to cut it and delete the excess parts. Okay. So for the solid layer, go to Effect, Video Copilot, and Saber. Alpha mode to Mask Glow, Render Settings. Composite settings, set it to Transparent and then customize score, set it to layer mask. For the preset, we will be using uh, electric. And select the color picker and click on the logo. It will automatically change the color of the saber. Okay, so go back to the original clip, copy mask one, control C on your keyboard and paste it to the saber headset. So by the way, let's rename this Saber Headset 1 because we will be creating another uh, layer of this. As you can see, it automatically copied the mask. Now create, duplicate this layer. There we go. Click M. Delete this 
mask on the duplicated saber layer. Go back to the original clip, copy mask to control C, go to saber headset 2 and control V. So again, it automatically copied the mask. So for this one, uh, we don't want to be orange. Uh, let's set it to uh, purple. There we go. So we now have added the saber effect, but it's still missing something. All right, so we now have to animate the saber effect. Now to do that, let's go back to saber headset one. Set a keyframe for start size, end size, and end offset. Hit you on your keyboard, see the keyframes, move a few frames forward. By the way, go back to the first keyframe, set the values to zero. Move a few frames forward and set the values back to 100. All right, there we go. So let's take a look at the effect. Boom, nice. Let's get these three keyframes, move them a few frames forward again. So we wanna do the same with uh, the Saber effect on the microphone. So go to Saber headset two, set a keyframe for start size, end size, and end offset. Set the values to zero. Move a few frames forward, set the value back to 100. Okay, let's check the effect. Cool, by the way, uh, I wanna add uh, a little bit of uh, additional glow effect to the Saber layer for the logo. So to do that, let's go back to Saber headset one. And set the intensity to around 113. Glow spread, leave it to 0 0.10. Glow bias, probably 0 0.24. Oh, awesome. You can also duplicate this Saber headset one in order to add an additional glow, as you can see. So without the second layer, additional layer, here it is. If you add another layer of it, Boom. So it looks a lot better. So we now have to start also revealing uh, the bottom layer. So to do that, go to the original clip. Remember we duplicated that layer. Set a keyframe for the opacity and a few frames forward. Set it back to zero. So we're doing this in order to not automatically remove the logo from the headset. So we now have added the saber effect that we want. It's time to create the uh, zoom in or the punch in effect in order to reveal the bottom layer properly. So to do that, go to layer, new, and camera. So we use, we're gonna use 35 millimeter for this one. Control shift D and remove the excess part. Control shift D. Okay. Okay, once we have added the camera layer, uh, let's make sure that the uh, Saber headset that we created and the original uh, layers for the headset are set to 3D. If you don't see this option, just make sure to toggle the switches at the bottom. Go back to your camera layer, create a keyframe for point of interest and position. Move a few frames forward, hit C on your keyboard until you see this arrow. Hold the left mouse button and drag up. Okay, this will create a zoom in effect. Also, you need to animate the position for X and Y. So, hit C on your keyboard again until you see this arrow. Hold the left mouse button and drag it. So make sure it's centered. 
move a few frames forward again. Hit C on the keyboard for this arrow. Type mouse button and drag it all the way out until you see the entire layer below it. Okay. So let's see the effect. All right, the effect looks really good, but it's it's a little bit fast. So we want to move the three frames probably here. So let's see it. There we go. So we now see the uh, initial effect before it zooms in, which is a lot better. So now we're going to move on to the second effect. Okay, create a composition, a new composition and just name it saber wipe effect and add the two clips that you will be using okay, so the top layer which is this one and the bottom layer will be revealed later after we add the effects so for this time it's actually the same process we're going to be creating a mask but this time it's going to be two masks it's going to go through the center and make sure that you add some curves to this mask this will make it look uh, natural as we are going to be animating the position of these masks. There we go. And then hit mask path. Set it to none for now. Okay, create another mask. Okay. So the second mask can overlap the first mask. Do not position it too far away from the first mask. Uh, click M on your keyboard again. Uh, click on mask path. You set the two masks to add. Okay, move a few frames forward. Click on mask one. And move it up a bit. Okay, as you can see, it's already starting to reveal the bottom layer. And then reposition the keyframes for the mask one by one to make it look uh, more natural. Okay, do the same for mask two. Move it down a bit. Okay, move a few frames forward again. And now we have rebuilt the lower clip. As you can see, there's some spaces here that we need to fix. So to do that, let's add some feather, probably around 13, okay, to make the edges look smooth. And then create a keyframe for mass expansion. Set it to around 50. All right, it disappears now. Move a few frames forward, set the mass expansion back to zero. So do the same for mass two. Add some feather, 13. Create a keyframe for mass expansion, set the value to 50. Few frames forward, set it back to zero. There we go. Okay, so it's looking a lot better now, but it's still missing some an effect, which is the saber effect. So layer new solid, and name it the uh, saber wipe. Okay. Delete the excess parts. Okay, Cre add the effect uh, under video call pilot saber. Set the alpha mode to mask glow. Render settings. Composite settings, set it to transparent, customize the core, and set it to layer mask. Under preset, uh, we're going to be using uh, Ghostbuster this time. Cool. Okay, go back to the original clip, hit M on your keyboard. Okay, copy the two masks, control C, go back to the saber layer, and control V. There we go. Looking good. So let's see how the effect looks like. 
Boom. All right, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you do, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click that notification bell in order to receive an update when I upload a video soon. So thanks for watching this video again. Peace out.